Creating Peace September 6, 2014 At times the world may seem overwhelming to you. You look out and see pain and suffering, wars and violence. However from the heavens, we see light attempting to emerge, even in the most hardened of human hearts. So many want their perspective to be acknowledged. So many want others to understand their pain. And whether they acknowledge it or not, everyone, every single solitary soul on this planet longs to reconnect with the goodness and the light inside. That is why you incarnated to begin with. So when you see the wars and the acts of violence upon your earth, instead of falling into sadness and despair, remember, that you can do something about it, if not on a physical plane, certainly in the realms of energy where all thoughts and feeling originate. You can say to yourself, you know what? This is not my war. This is not my lesson. This is not the game in which I choose to play. I will pray for all involved. If I am called to do so, I'll help in a tangible way, but if not, I will choose to contribute to the truth, the peace, the harmony, and beauty in life. I choose peace in my own heart, mind, life, and community. Then, dear ones, choose peace. Choose not to be at war with yourselves. Be kind to your bodies. When you catch yourself in the act of self-criticism, embrace yourself instead. Stop the violence within. Choose to avoid the dramas and arguments with others. If their perspectives do not match yours or how you choose to live your life, make changes. Walk away. Start the process of creating a new job, or a life transition. Better to walk away in peace than stay in a situation at war. Be the peacemakers, the ones who choose to send love and prayers even for those whose actions are so dark you cannot imagine they have any light within. Send love to those in your lives who hurt you for they too are in need of upliftment. And send love to those parts of yourselves that you would wish to annihilate too, for even they need love to be transformed. Listen to one another's perspectives even if you do not agree, for every thought, every feeling, every desire, has its place upon the planet Earth, whether or not that place is in your space or not. God bless you dear ones. It is both a challenging and an exciting time to be upon the Earth. Beautiful new light is emerging, but as always, it will stir up those lost in misunderstanding until they too can embrace a higher and more beautiful reality. You can live and abide in that heaven right here, and right now. The Angels Channeled by Ann Albers www.visionsofheaven.com